Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us for the last um, demo. I'd um, just like to tell everybody on our um, who's tuning in live on Facebook that all of the demonstrations will be uploaded onto our YouTube um, page. Um, all of the uh, products mentioned today, of course, are available on the Vistaret website. And if you've got any other questions, please, uh, please feel free to um, message us um, via Facebook. Thank you very much. All right, so now on to the next demo, which is the Arduino Starter Kit demo. Um, I'm, have the, I'm having the Arduino Starter Kit here right next to me. Hopefully everybody can see it. Um, so the Arduino Starter Kit is basically the kit you can buy to get started with Arduino. So what's inside the Arduino Starter Kit? So inside the Arduino Starter Kit, you can see the different bunch of components, cable, but also an Arduino Uno board. Um, you have a guide, which is on the right, which uh, shows you all the kind of different projects we're going to have in a starter kit. So on this little demo I want to demonstrate this way is to show you how we can blink an LED, which is basically one of the first things that you learn in engineering. To be able to do this, we're going to need the Arduino IDE. If you remember, the Arduino IDE is the Arduino software that we need to have to program stuff, which you can download on the Arduino website. It's totally free. So this is the main setup of the, of the Arduino IDE. So you have your toolbar, you have a, which shows the sketch name. Then you're going to have the programming area or the coding area. And then you have a debugging console and you have a message area. And on the right, you can see you have a different toolbars where you can create a new program or open a program, simple like every other program. So for this demo, what do we need? So we need an Arduino board. This can be done by any Arduino board. It doesn't matter if it doesn't need to be the Uno. It can be the Micro Wi-Fi 1010 as well or a Nano. It doesn't matter. You need an USB cable, a 20, uh, 220 ohm resistor, two jumper wires, an LED, and a breadboard. For those of you who don't know what a breadboard is, it's basically to connect different components to a board. There is a and uh, what needs to be important about the breadboard is how you connect things. On the bottom, this is where the lines go through. So, for example, if you connect something on the first dot, it's connected through the last dot. So you cannot connect over the dots and if there is not any, for example, resistor that connects the two dots. I'm going to show you later. Then for this demo, we're going to need an LED and then a, a resistor. So an LED, simple, it uh, displays. But on an LED, you have a cathode and an anode, which are two different uh, kind of uh, length of the, uh, yeah, of, the, of the LED. So you need to be careful because if you do it on the wrong side, it will not transmit the data or the, the code. So you need to be careful to, go, to put it into the breadboard on the right way. On the resistor, it doesn't matter. You can connect it anyway. It's, it's totally fine what you do. So this is the way we're going to connect it. So this is the Arduino Uno. We connect it to the uh, pin 12, which is on the, on the top. Then we connect it to the resistor. The resistor connects the two different kind of uh, lines from the wet ball with the LED. We, from the LED, we go down, and from the LED, we go back to ground. So this makes a circuit, and that way we can connect the program. Once more, that's the workflow. So build the circuit, connect one wire to ground and the other to pin 12, connect your board to the computer, then we're going to open the program, and we're going to upload the code. That's it. So I'm going to show it to you now, how we're going to do it. Let me just, so I'm going to open up the Arduino IDE. That's the Arduino IDE, last you seen. Then we're going to go to Examples, Basics, Blink. That's all we need to do. There you go. And it opens up the right code that we need for this demo. So now, as I said, we need to connect it to pin 12. It says LED built in. This is the, the pin we're going to connect it. So all I have to do, literally, is where this is, need to write the number of pin I connected. This is 12. This is 12. And this one is 12 as well. So high stands for on, low stands for off. Easy. And we have a delay, so there's a time between on and off. So now we're going to check if the code is correct. That's fine. Now I'm using the USB cable connected to my board. I already built the circuit. Hopefully you can see it in here. So I already built the circuit as seen on the screen. I'm just connecting the board to it. That's it. I'm going to upload the code up here. It's going to upload the code. And there you go. The LED is blinking. It's very, very easy. And for example, if you say, ah, it's too slow, I want to make it blink faster, just reduce the delay time. For example, go to 200. 
Let me go to 200 as well. Save it. Oops. There you go. They save it and then, oh, 2000, sorry. And then go for upload it once again. And there you go. Now it's blinking faster. So it's very easy to do, super easy demo, get people into programming. You learn a little bit about coding, how it looks like. And then you want to go to the next one, which is another demo I want to demonstrate. And this one is going to be make some noise. So this demo is to go and show you that you can actually make also noise with your Arduino. For this one, what do we need? We need the Arduino board instead, uh, again. So it doesn't matter which board, as I said, you can also do the, use the Maker and the Nano. We're going to use a USB cable. We're going to use the Piezo. We're going to use two jumper wires again, and again, the breadboard. Um, what is a Piezo? A Piezo is an electronic device uh, commonly used to produce sound. Uh, and when the voltage, voltage passes the membranes, it vibrates, producing sound. Um, the way we're going to connect it, it's a little bit easier, so we're going to connect it to pin 10 on the top. Then it goes into the piezo, the piezo connects the two different rows, and then we're going to go back to grand. So I'm going to do it in here. Before you're going to do it, just to be important, is disconnect your board to the computer. So don't do it while the board is connected to the computer, so I'm going to disconnect the board. So hopefully everyone can see it. I'm going to take off the... Uh, the uh, LED and the uh, resistor. So I'm going to connect these two to this one. That's it. It's already connected. You can see it in here. Then build the circuit. Then we're going to open the program and then we're going to upload it to the board. So I'm going to go back. Go back to this one. So I'm going to go to File, Examples, Edge Intro, Courseware, Workshop, Melody. That's it. I'm going to go to Melody, and I actually don't have to do anything in this one because it's already on uh, pin 10 uh, in here. So I don't have to do literally anything. I just need to make sure it's on the right pin. I connect it to the board. I'm checking the code, but there shouldn't be any problem because it's literally from the examples. I upload the code. And there you have it. Super easy. I mean, you don't have to do anything. It's in a loop, so it runs until you stop it. So, so I'm going to disconnect it. But anyway, you can do any sound. As you've seen here are notes. So this means you can make your own music. Uh, I've some, seen people do, doing the Dark Vader theme or people doing Game of Thrones kind of melody. So you can do anything. It's super, super easy. Going back to the presentation, as you can see, when you buy the starter kit, for example, these are projects that you need to do or can do with the starter kit. So it starts from the basic things that we've done right now. It's get to know your tools. This means LEDs, piezo, different kind of uh, fans, whatever, different kind of components that are easy to use. And then we're going to go to more advanced stuff. And in the end, you go to hacking buttons and tweak the Arduino logo. So a little bit more advanced stuff. But the cool thing is it comes with a guide, with a project book in here. And the project books literally tells you everything you need to know to do. And it's completely guided. So if there's no step missing, everything is guided. We have it in certain languages. This one is in English, but we have it in different languages. So really easy to do. Thank you.